One, two, three. Testing, testing, testing. Is this thing on? Can you hear me? Oh, hello there. I want to try to explain the decision making that happens in the four song MP3 player example. The example uses nesting and chaining of if statements, which can be pretty complicated. Let's see if some visuals help out. In the algorithm, the outer if in the mouse click method determines if the mouse pointer is vertically within the bounds of the pictures. In this little demo, the two horizontal lines represent the top and bottom of the pictures. If the mouse pointer is between the lines, that means it could possibly be over one of the pictures. We can't say for sure that it really is over one of the pictures, but if the pointer is outside the lines, then we know for sure that it isn't over any picture. The area inside the lines turns orange whenever the condition in the outer if would evaluate to true. If the area inside the lines isn't orange, then the outer if condition would evaluate to false. Inside the outer if, there are four more ifs chained together, which tell if the mouse pointer is really over one of the pictures. In the demo application, vertical lines bracket the first picture, the second, the third, and the last picture of vanilla ice. When the mouse pointer is both between the horizontal lines, that is, if the outer if condition is true, and between one of the vertical pairs, then that means one of the artists was chosen. So, the MP3 player who should start playing the appropriate song. In the demo, you can see that the picture turns green when the mouse pointer is in the right area. If the pointer is outside any of the legal areas, then no picture is selected. I hope this demonstration helps you understand how the four song MP3 player makes decisions. I also hope that you like to listen to Vanilla Ice as much as I do. Ice, Ice Baby. Or, perhaps you like some of his more obscure work. If so, try this. Go, Ninja, go.